Howdy y'all, this is Coast Road. Welcome back to Love It Games. We are playing a little bit of Mafia the Definitive Edition. So I hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and tell me what you think in the comment section. Hello. Going on to the next chapter. Sarah. Yeah, that's the cold thumb. You want anything else? Nah, I'm heading home. Hey, Tom, uh, before you go, uh, I ask maybe a small favor. Huh? Sure, Luigi, what do you need? Walk in my daughter room. Sarah, the way I hear it, she doesn't need any kind of escort. <laughs> uh, she's, uh, she's a tough. Uh, this is a pack of boys uh, near her place. Uh, Punks, you know, Cativira guys, they, they talk blue, make advances. Sarah, she gonna speak at the mind. But maybe she says a somber thing they don't like. Things that get ugly. But if you working at home, this is a reminder these punks, she's the dawn's a goddaughter. No problem, Luigi. I'd be honest. <laughs> Benny. Sarah, time to close. What's this then? Uh, Tom is uh, Tom's gonna take you. All right. Hey, I just work here. Make sure nobody bother you. Fine, if it'll make you feel better, Pop. Hey. I'll see you tomorrow. Let me get my coat. I'll wait for you outside. You okay? I don't need anyone walking me home. Hey, we were talking about meeting up tonight anyway. I guess. And you can quit worrying about what he's gonna think. I'm not the point, Tom. He treats me like a kid sometimes. Hey, I get it. He's protective. He's seen things. We've all seen things. You know, we gotta talk about you stealing food. Hey, I cook it, so I get to say where it goes. Molly won't thank you. Well, maybe tomorrow's finally gonna be the day he fixes his own breakfast. Hey, -o. Your apartment is literally behind the building we were just in. Can you knock on the door? Only got so many hands here. Sarah! That for me? Yeah, though it's not as much as last time. It's enough. Nona thinks you're an angel. The Dawn hates seeing food go to waste. And this? This has got to be Tammy. Sarah told us all about you. That right. You're a famous race driver, Tom. Everyone talks about you. Yeah, she's right. They do. Well, anyways, don't let the cold in, Juliet. I'll see you at church. All right. Have a great evening. Night. Buena noche, Tammy. Oh. Okay. That isn't her apartment. It's nice you do that. That? Well, a lot of hungry people on this block. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, it's a good night for a walk anyway. Don't get yourself killed on my account, Tom. I try to avoid it. That's all you've got? You spend all this time with a lady killer like Sam Trapani, and the best line you got is, good night for a walk anyways? <laughs> well, it is, ain't it? Yeah, I guess so. You should buy her some flowers. Flowers for the lady, signore? Nah, we're good. Now I don't get flowers? When you let me take you on a real date and not some walk home for Luigi, then you get the flowers. Eh. Yeah. 
That could happen. If Pop's not gonna stop me seeing one of you, I think he knows anyway. Luigi? Nah. These guys have been creeps to me for weeks. But I didn't tell you as I know what you like. I mentioned it to Dad this one time, and all of a sudden he gets you to be my knight in shining armor. So yeah, he knows. Huh. Well, like I say, means there's no problem with me. If he did, you wouldn't last long. I know what happened to all the other guys I dated. I helped hide the bodies. Yeah. So now we are. I've been trying to keep you safe, Tommy Angelo. All this time. Hey, let's go someplace. Tomorrow night, maybe. The pictures, maybe. You can get your flowers. That'd be good. Oh! Hey there, darling! Are you stepping out on us? Piss off. <laughs> Don't cast the kitten, doll face. We'll let your boyfriend watch. What do you say? We going to have trouble here. Trouble started back when you tried to steal our girl, Chief. You saps aren't careful. You'll end up in wooden overcoats. <laughs> Last chance to walk away. We ain't frails. We know who you work for. Salieri might have been the big six when he was younger, but he's all washed up now. Mm -hmm. It's only a matter of time before Morello punches his ticket. I don't need Salieri. Or anyone else. Not for this. <laughs> well... This <laughs> then let's see what you got, cake eater. Mm. Where you going there, sweet cheeks? Back off! Uh, Billy Trey. You're some uh, kind of dish, ain't ya? How do I, uh... I wasn't using my controller earlier to know how to use... Oh, that's how you do it. Come at me with a knife, and you think that's gonna work? Get away from me! Tommy! My turn now. Hope you're better than your friends. It says wooden plank, but it looks like I'm using a bat. I'll give you that. You're bleeding. Come up to my place. I'll take a look. Well, you gonna come in and take a load off, or what? I'm wondering when you'd invite me up. The bank's closed, Slugger. I'm just gonna patch you up is all. Now go sit down on the couch, roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing kit. Doesn't look too bad. 
you need something for the pain? No, I'm fine. You don't have to do that. What? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You want to pretend it? Don't go ask Polly to staple you up. What do you get? Compliments of the Dan. Take another. All right. You gonna grin and bear this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Good. Cause I don't need the little old lady next door complaining to the super about all the racket. Just be quick about it, will ya? Well, it's gonna take as long as it takes. The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the scar. They're right. You stitched up a lot of fellas. Just my father. Ma would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So one day she stabbed him with her knitting needle. Right through the hand. What for? Because... She was an ugly... Jealous drunk. There. Not my best work, but... It'll hold. The scar will be something to remember you by, if nothing else. <laughs> You're staying over. Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood pie-eyed. Not when them hoods are out looking for you anyways. Yeah, okay. You got an extra blanket or something? No. And the heat's out. myself though. Heyo. Vera. This can't stand. Sarah's okay, boss. I took care of it. She started working here before she could see over the bar. I don't have a daughter of my own, Tom. I'd do anything for Luigi's little girl. So would I. We all would. That's right, boss. Anything for Luigi and Sarah. Do those bastards think this is fucking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Our business is protection. But who's gonna pay up when they learn we can't even protect one of our own as she walks home from work? So what do you want us to do? Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies. Put them in wheelchairs. Bust their faces up so bad, even their mothers can't look at them without screaming. We know where they're holed up. My friend on the force says we should start looking in the Chinatown. Then Big Biff will know something. Tommy, go to Vinny, get us some gear. Meet me at Biff's place. Yeah, okay. Leave these punks laying in the street. I want everyone to know we do not allow mad dogs to run wild in our neighborhood. You got it, boss. Some of these sons of bitches could still be on our turf. I'll check the neighborhood. Make sure they're gone while you see Biff. Good hunting. Yeah, same. Okay, so when you're done with Vinny, come find me in Chinatown. Sure. Let's go bust some heads. These punks showing disrespect. Where's the respect in this city gone, Frank? Surprised we didn't curb stomp him already. How do I look at our weapon? Hey, hey, here for some heaters, Tom. Nah, I'm already going and healed. Paulie and me, we gotta give a beating to some punks who've been on our turf. I don't wanna pull this and piss in our own street. There's something to bust sets. That's all we need. 
Sam turned over some guy's warehouse and, uh... Autographed by Babe Ruth himself, the guy said. I mean, it's horse shit, but they bust heads. Your punks won't have time for questions. No, they won't. Thanks, Vinny. Let's go with this. Let everyone know what we're driving. <laughs> About time. Come on, I'm wet through. Why Biff moved into this dump, I'll never know. Give him a break. He's in love. Ah, uh, he got yellow fever the time we boosted the Shanghai skin flicks. Well, I like her anyways. Problem with you, Tom, you always soft with the dames. Chinese tuxedo. Can I go for some Chinese food right now? Biff, you fat bastard. How you doing? Chut mao, lu qin. Starface, great to see you. Call her off, Biff. We got business. Upstairs, please. So, what's the beef? Need some information. Got some jokers causing trouble. They mess with Luigi's daughter. Plenty of hoods around. You got any more? One of them's a weasel named Billy. Pals with a prissy chump and a bruiser with a bald head. Right, right. I know him. They're set up in the old service station a block over. They hock some gear every now and then, in small time. <laughs> That's why I need to come to you, Biff. You're good with small time. Out the back, cross the street. You'll find them there. Thanks. See you around. Hey, Paulie. Uh, about that dough? Relax. Just waiting for my guy to come through. It'll be next week. Just sit tight. Hey, a dime detective. What was that back there? You and Biff got something going on. Guy I know is bringing in a shipment of suits. Classy ones, Mexican. You getting suits from Mexico? No, idiot. The suits are boosted from a lockup downtown. The tailor is from Mexico. Originally, anyways, he lives in Holbrook. Did Don know about this? Yeah, yeah, I'll get his cut. You just keep this under your hat. I guess I heard nothing. You gonna know these punks when you see them? Yeah. Though, I guess if I don't, all we gotta do is find the other guys in Chinatown who look like we do. There it is. Can we go any faster? Here's how we do this. I walk in and start beating people. You do the same. No shooters. You take long thinking of one of... Nah, this plane gets used a lot. I think we gotta go in through the side. Come on. Here. I'm telling you the nicest ass I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo. Oh, Billy, it's the guy from the other night. We gotta go. <laughs> I do not know how to run with the controller. Get your ass behind the up there! You're gonna die here, you know that? Get your gas out! We made it serious! You think I need telling? I go north, you go 
yourself. What? I go up. You go through there. Hey, I'm, I'm, okay! Yeah. How do I... I think I already cleared the path. Oh, you have a shotgun. That is a nice car. Come on, we can't lose him. I'm reloading. Why is this handle even worse than the race vehicle? Go careful, Tom. The road's a river. Don't Sit worry, I got this. That's all of them. I can't turn. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know why you're not firing. I think the fact that we just blew up their area, killed most of their men, they already regret it. They think you're gonna get away, huh? They ain't seen you drive. 
alive like I have! Come on, come on! We can't let him get away! Dumb son of a bitch just wrecked himself. Well, they're not walking away from that. I want to pop and talk. No. No, no, wait. Please. Please, I don't want to fucking die, man. Christ, Tom. You can't feel sorry for these animals. A guy like this would plug you if you give him the chance. You gotta pull the trigger without thinking. This I'm out. This one's finished, too. Hmm. <sighs> mm. Oh, Christ, Tom. Snap out of it. You remember what those guys wanted to do to Sarah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just, uh... Hey. Get out of here before the bulls show up, huh? The Saint and the Sinner, 1932. Simple straight. I can't afford this life no more. Just getting lucky. I'll give you a chance to win your money back. You want in, boss? We have business to discuss, Paulie. We're in it now, boys. One of our associates at the coroner's office sent this over. Corpse's name is Giolotti. You recognize him? Sure. That's one of the punks we ran out of the neighborhood. Now he got the bullet in the back of his head? Yeah. We capped him. Well, the cops ought to thank us. We did him a favor. The guy was a rapist, boss. Yeah? Well, he was also a city councilor's son. You want to drive a politician into Morella's arms? There's no better way than killing off his family. Oh, Christ. That gets worse. You left another guy in the wreck? Yeah, but he was dead when we got there. You gonna tell me he was the president's nephew or something? Two in the head, Paulie. If you're gonna do a job, do it right. He made it? Yes. He spent the week in St. Mary's, but he pulled through. <sighs> Can he point a finger at either of you? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Look. We're gonna kill two birds with one blast. Galati's funeral's today at St. Michael's. Sam, you're gonna attend. Sit in the back and try to spot the lucky bastard. How will I recognize him? He'll be the one who just crawled away from a car wreck. His arm is broken. Look for a sling. Sam's gonna need a little distraction if he's gonna clean up your mess. You sending Tommy to dip his wick? It's a brothel? A gentleman's club, just down the street from St. Michael's. Madonna's invested a lot of money in it over the years. So, me and Sam. Regardless, the owner has suddenly decided to do business with Morello instead of us. You want me to go remind him of his obligations? Yes. Then blow the place up. What? Morello wants to take businesses away from us, he'll inherit craters. Look, Tom, we can't send Paulie and Sam since all the ladies know them already. They'd never make it through the front door. But you can walk right in. Okay. What about the manager? Take care of him wherever you find him. If any of the horse see it, well, it'll be a warning. Once he's out of the way, head to his office on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there, and place the explosives. Vincenzo will see that you have what you need. And you think the blast will be big enough to give me cover? Yeah. But be smart. Only take a shot if you know you won't get me. Tommy, one more thing. 
One of the girls is passing Morello information about our operations. Before you blow the place, you'll need to take care of her, too. You want Tommy to kill a twist? Come on, Frank. It's just bad luck this falls to Tom. But we gotta protect the family. Her name is Michelle. She's usually working one of the upper rooms. Her photo is in the folder. You boys clear on everything? Yeah. Tom. I got it, boss. Then get it done. All right, let's go. Now we'll get it taken care of. Counselor's son is slain. William Billy Giolotti, son of LH City Council President Robert Giolotti, was found dead with a firearm inflicted wound past Sunday. Body was discovered by police investigating reports of a wrecked automobile. There is presently no suspect or even clear motive of the senseless murder, which bears hallmarks of gangland execution. You hear they're burying the Galati kid today? Yeah. They better bury him deep. Why? The guys we rub out started getting back up. That's why. I heard about their. Uh... Misfortune, Tom. We're gonna fix it. A lesson learned, I think, eh? Yep. Tom didn't have the gonads and strife to do the bullet, but he'll have to this time. Heard you in the market for something that goes boom. Take the bomb or what? They want rifle, pistol, shotgun. What? You think the whole house is gonna blow itself up? Take the damn explosive. Give those girls a squeeze from Uncle Vin, huh? Not today, Vinny. Don't go any place yet. Gotta hear me out on this. It's about the girl. Michelle? Right. You don't have to rub her out. Just make her disappear. You know her? Yeah. I'd been with her a few times. She's a good egg, Tom. Just maybe not so bright. She doesn't deserve to get plugged just because she likes listening to me talk. You think she'll leave, Tom? When she understands what'll happen otherwise, yeah, she'll leave. Here's a hundred. Give it to her. And make sure she gets far away. Okay, sir. I'll see what I can do. It's all I'm asking. Let's go. No witnesses. Sorry, Sam. Here's your stuff. I'll give the family your condolences. Good luck. You too. To me, it sounds like if we just take out the city councilor as well, it won't be an issue. You behave yourself in here, okay? Don't threaten me with a good Thank time. You, know where I can find the manager? I just watch the door, pal. You here for a girl, drinks, or a mix of the two? A girl. And I got some business with your manager, too. A girl I can help you with. Come through. Find the girl you like, and you can both get better acquainted upstairs. There's no rush, so get a drink, relax, and enjoy yourself. I think she's from Minnesota. Oh Just man, like y'all all kind of look alike. Why do y'all all have a pixie haircut? Why don't you buy me a drink? 
Because you're not the dame I'm after. You know Michelle? I'm new here, baby. I don't know a thing. We can just talk. Come on, you honey. Don't want Without you, how am I gonna pick? I can tell you're nervous. We can do whatever. I can step you through what we gotta do. Hey, I'm looking for Michelle. You know her? Yeah, she's the popular one. Book yourself in with a guy at reception. You gotta get in line for Michelle. What's a handsome man like you doing in a place like this? Looking for a girl named Michelle. She's busy upstairs, but I'm free. You don't want what Michelle's about to get. I need to talk to the manager. Yeah, head straight through to the lounge. You're with our uh, new business partners, I assume. That's not what I meant to do. That did not at all go how I wanted it to go. Are you looking for me? I wouldn't be so sure about that. Before I go up, I should look around over here. Shells to a all day. guys downstairs have been
to clear each room just in case. This could have been done so much better. I said no witnesses. The name Sam is one of your regulars. Maybe there's a lot of guys named Sam. You know him. Works for Don Celieri. Maybe you got him talking about our business from time to time, and maybe Don Morello offered you some money to spill what you heard. No, Sam, trust me. I, I don't say nothing. He knows that. But Don's losing a lot of money because someone <laughs> can't keep their mouth shut. I was just bumping guns with some of Morello's girls. I didn't mean nothing by it. Tom, I'm sorry. Tom, I will never open my mouth again. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You scared then? Good. Don't you ever forget how it feels to be this scared. To know you're just one twitch away from a hole in the ground. Because if you ever show your face in this town again, they're going to find you with two in a head. Do you understand? <laughs> Lucky for you, Sam's got a big heart. Get dressed and make tracks. This place is going to blow soon. <laughs> Thank you. Just don't come back and we're square. You left a witness. Michelle, you're in 2-8 all day tomorrow with Morel's guys. I'll be downstairs in the lounge sending them out. They got what you want as much as you wanted. You complain you lose your place. You plenty more girls like you. Been to my office on the top floor to get the gold negligee I like so much if you feel like changing your mind. Tommy, you're soft. You're not supposed to leave witnesses. Honestly, I'd rather have multiple a quick bar. Over to cover. Over here. Got 
I can pick up the body. That's interesting. Move into cover. Somebody's got a Tommy gun. Oh, yes. That is where it's at. It's not what it looks like. What kind of freaky stuff are you into? I like it. Ah, sorry. Need a kink shame, everyone has their thing. Dear Mr. Morello, the following patrons may be of interest. I have their details if you should need them. Several city councilors, one congressman, senior officials in the federal tax office, deputy director of the prisoner service, board of appeals, prohibition chief of the LHPD. In addition, a number of tele Larry associates are sweet on our girls and fond pillow talk. Dear Mr. Coletti, I must apologize for missing a regular appointment last week. I had an urgent family matter to attend to at short notice. With some regret that I write to confirm the termination of our agreement, Mr. Salari has been a wonderful business partner over the years. I am most grateful for his support and your wise counsel. Please find with this a missive return of Mr. Salari's investment along with $100 as a gesture of goodwill. The doors are always open. We remember our friends here in Corleone.
that everything in this room Witnesses. I hate how the Molotov thing goes. <laughs> Take out the poli corrupt police over here. for me. Well, that's going to be the best way to do it, though. see it, how do I pick it up? Contact with the fellas on the roof. 
We're in a church. No matter how far we've fallen, we can find redemption in death. Now, William, he was a sinner, yes, but he was also a loving son, a protective brother, and a loyal friend. And for those virtues, we pray that his soul will find salvation. And now, I believe, one of Billy's closest and dearest friends would like to say a few words. Thank you, Father. I, uh... I just wanted to pay my respects. Billy, I never said this, but... I consider you my brother. I can't even count all the times you saved my ass from a beat. So I don't know how I'm good. What are you doing? Wait, that's the guy. That's the guy who killed Billy! Came out at the wrong time. Throw some flames. You think I'm enjoying this? Take him out. This is a church, a house of God. Stop in this. He ain't getting up after that. What have you done? Murder in the house of God. These men were criminals, Father. Thieves. Rapists. Killers. And God would have embraced them if they'd asked for forgiveness. Now, which one of these men might have sought redemption by working with the poor? Which one might have saved just one life? None of us, Father. You bastard. If you have any confessions to make, you better do it quick. No more bloodshed, please! <laughs> I'm sorry, Father. <sighs> Consider this an act of divine retribution. <sighs> that make us even? Sure. For now. For your trouble, Father. I don't want your blood money. You took theirs. Not a lot of difference from where I'm standing. That should be enough dough to patch up the bullet holes and keep you quiet. <sighs> when the cops come, you tell them the gunman who did this had East Coast accents. 
Must have been from out of town. Right? I won't lie. But I won't say anything at all. Good. Be a shame if we had to come back here. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked in the church, the crew recognized me. Followed me straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all these guys. Come on, we gotta go. Yeah, I don't think that went right. Where the hell were you? As soon as I walked in the church, the crew recognized me. <coughs> Straight back out. Where are they now? The same place as all Welcome these guys. Come, Come on, we gotta go. Find out all about it. I actually like the hearse. Suspect and accomplice escaping in a hearse. I repeat, a hearse. <laughs> Okay, we lost them. Thank Christ. Gonna be trying to forget today for a long time. You're telling me. Thanks again, Sam. For helping me out back there. I thought my time was up. It's not anything you wouldn't do for me. I know. But when you come that close to biting it, Christ, it's something. Don't need to tell me about that. Just don't think about it. Best lesson I could ever teach you. Don't think about anything. The Saint in the Sinner. Intermezzo. 1938. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Tommy. You're confessing to a shootout in a church. And I ain't even through the hard stuff yet. You know, I could take you in right now, put your pine bars, tell you old and gray. Maybe. If you think you can make any of it stick. But then you'd never know about Marillo. Hey, fellas. Sorry to keep you waiting. My shift just started. What you having? Two lunch specials, please. And more coffee. You know what? Let's bring the whole pot. All right, we've come this far together. What kind of heat did you get from the church? It's a strange thing. Nothing really came of it all. Always figured Celieri paid off someone somewhere because it wasn't even in the papers. We just had to lay low for seven, eight months. The cops kept showing up at the bar just to remind us they were watching. And Frank caught wind that Morello was helping Galati get reelected, hoping he'd go after the Don. We recovered some account books from Morello's offices. 33 was a pretty good year for him. Bastard knew we were bleeding out before we did. While we were busy keeping our heads down, he started moving in on our rackets. Quiet at first, a few trucks go missing. Uh, top burner has one too many highballs, drives off a bridge. One of our regular pickups suddenly closes up shop, moves upstate. You need didn't catch on? Not me. I think maybe Polly smelled something. 
But even with the cops looking over our shoulders and Morello circling, we were still making good money. And with the Dom worried about keeping the heat off, we didn't have much to do, except drink, have a few laughs. Every time I went into Celieri's, there was Sarah. So it was a good year. Until Frank. A Coletti, a Don's consigliere. Yeah, that's right. He set me straight. He set us all straight. There's a lot of buzz around town about you guys. Yeah, we got into a little scrap last night. It's no big deal. I don't care about the bar fight, Tom. I care how it looks when you walk into a club and buy everyone around. Uh, we gotta do something with that, though. Then blow it at the track on Sunday. Or take a dame to a show. Or invest it, for Christ's sake. <laughs> you want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? <laughs> don't sass me, Tommy. I'm trying to teach you the ropes so you don't get strangled by them. You ever have a dog, Tom? Sure. A little mutt when I was a kid. When I was eight or nine, before I came over from the Sicily, I had this beautiful, skinny Tirneco de Letna. Like a little greyhound. Fastest dog you've ever seen. That's how I met the Don. We started setting up races together, betting on her with coins and rifle shells. There wasn't another dog that could catch her. She never lost. Until the day she did. We were only out of pocket knife, but I never saw the Don so angry. She got old on you? No. Pregnant. She went into heat, got out of the yard, and every dog in town had a turn. You're like that dog, Tommy. Every time you flash your money around, you're a bitch in heat, and everyone in that club is now looking to fuck you. And once you get fucked, you're no good to us. Do you understand? Uh, you made your point. Good. Because you need to think about your career here. Look, Paulie's at his ceiling. He's the guy we want in a tussle, but he's not smart enough to run anything. Sam is loyal, but he has no vision. But you, Tommy. You could run this town someday. Well, I appreciate that, Frank. So, uh, what happened to the dog? The Don tried to drown her. I broke his nose. You can let me off here. Give Sarah my best, Tommy. <laughs> it's a trip to the country, 1833. Back then, everything went through Frank. The plans, the orders, the money. You could get the call day or night. Tommy, Frank says to wait for him in the garage out in the back, eh? You got the job, I think. Thanks, Luigi. Sarah's cooking. She's bringing something over. In this rain? <laughs> She's a good girl. I'll see you tomorrow, Luigi. Luigi, I can't read. Sarah loaned these books to March. Please return them. Thank you. Confirm visit plan. I can't wait to see you all again. Your Canuck cousins. The Canadians.
just sitting there, staring, cut off at the neck. Nah, no, this ain't true. Some other crew had already been out to the house that night. Guess the guy had more than and his share of enemies. Thanks for waiting, Tom. The Don and I had to go over last month's numbers again. Sure. So what's the job? I want you to help Sam and Polly with the shipment we've got coming in tonight. The good stuff? Straight from Canada. Where do you need me? Sam's gone to meet our friends from the north at a farm outside of town. Polly will oversee the trucks bringing the shipment into the city. But I want you to go with him. Be an extra pair of eyes. Make sure it all goes smoothly. OK. Get the car from Ralphie and meet Paulie at the warehouse. He's got heaters in case you run into any trouble. Sure, Frank. No problem. Good. Now bring the Canadian home safe, Tommy. There is already a case you're marked for the Don. This mama motor is yours if you want it, Tommy. Thanks, Ralph. This doesn't connect, and I have to literally walk outside. That's ridiculous. When you cut a hole open in the wall. Revolver. Like a Tommy gun, but you don't have that. We do got the hearse. We should probably go some quiet. Oh, we'll catch attention. <laughs> a few pickups at the farm before. Don't worry. There ain't nothing but cow shit and shine out here. It's gonna be an easy few clams. Boys will load up the trucks and we'll come straight back. Yeah, let's make it quick. I got some place to be. Ah, uh, you see it's hour later. Luigi's little girl, your night shift. <laughs> You're something else, pal. Protecting the girl's virginity one day and taking it the next. Lay off, Polly. Ah, oh, come on. I'm just kidding. She's a good girl. You settle down, she'll straighten you right out. You're going home to a couch. <laughs> now, I wonder what kind of stories she could tell about her old man, though. Luigi was a stone cold killer back in the day. I wouldn't know. You know she's been helping out behind the bar since she was a kid. I bet she's seen and heard a few things. Probably knows more about our business than we do. She knows enough not to ask me too many questions. <laughs> That's good. She won't ever make a liar out of you. Christ. You ought to marry her just for that. Damn it. Sam should be waiting here, but I don't see him. Something smells off. Don't let your pecker get all shriveled up. Probably just trying to get out of the rain. Or into the bootleg. 
<laughs> That'll wake him. He ain't coming. Okay. Let's go find him. That bastard is just three sheets, and I'm wrecking a new suit for nothing. I swear I'm gonna kill him. Here. Just in case Frank was right. I'm gonna go grab them boys, get them sorted out. You go ahead, see what's what. We'll catch up with you. On that, we're gonna call it an episode. So thanks for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and tell me what you think in the comment section down below. See you guys in the next day.